Hi everyone. Happy to meet you once again. Today, let us study a poem, a photograph. Lesson number two, a photograph by Shirley Tolson. Uh, the word is not that much familiar to you like other poets and writers. We Indians, we are not that much familiar to the name Shirley Tolson. Yes, she was born in 1924 in England, UK, Great Britain. Okay. And she died at the age of 94 in, I mean, 2018, just two years before. She was an innovative writer. Who is an innovative writer? One who writes on novel subjects or new topics. Innovative. So, innovative writer on Britain's works. Uh, then what? I mean... Um, uh, ancient tracks and traditions. Yes. Ancient tracks and traditions. She was an innovative writer. She was a poet. She was a poet, a writer and a journalist also. Yes, she was a journalist also. And in this poem, I mean a photograph. She pays tribute to her mother. The first lesson we saw, paying tribute to his grandmother. Now we see the poetess pays tribute to her mother in the poem, A Photograph. I mean, take the textbook all of you. Uh, page number 11 in your textbook. Yes. Let us come to the, I mean, uh, poem proper. Okay. So, page number 11, poem, a photograph. Come to the poem proper. The first line. The cardboard shows. The cardboard. Shows me how it was. The cardboard shows me how it was. Cardboard here means photograph framed in a cardboard. Yes. The cardboard shows me. The photograph shows me. The cardboard. See, nowadays uh, uh, pictures are taken, I mean, uh, using computer and, and served in uh, mails, uh, etc., and the framing is not that made in the in, uh, during, uh, in the same way it was done years and years before. Photo framing, uh, not done in the same way. But ancient times, uh, photographs were framed using cardboard. That cardboard shows, which means the photograph. In that cardboard shows me. See. The cardboard cannot show. It's an inanimate thing. It means living and dead, dead thing. So, the figure of speech is a personification. What is personification actually? Uh, inanimate things introduced as animate things. It means dead things are introduced as living things. So, here the cardboard shows. No cardboard can show you anything. Yes, it is introduced as a person. So, it is a personification. So, the photograph shows me how it was. Yes, the cardboard shows me how it was. When two girl cousins, two girls, of course, they were my cousins, uh, went paddling. The word to not hear is Paddling. Paddling simply means walking through water. Using a paddle also. It can be a, an oar or paddling boat or any method or mechanism. Here it only totally means walking through water. Yes. The photograph shows me 
फोर दिस फोटोग्राफ शोज मी वेन टू गेल कसिन्स टू गेल्स हु वेर मै कसिन्स वेन्ड पाडिलिंग दे वेर वॉकिंग थ्रू वाटर एस ईच होलडिंग वन ऑफ मै मदर्स हाँ सैज द पॉइट ईच ऑफ दम दे वेर होलडिंग द I mean, uh, my mother's hands. Yes, hand in hand, my mother was walking with them. Yes, here comes the mother, paying tribute to the mother, and the picture, the photograph of her mother. Mother, yes, two girls were there. My cousins, I mean, mother's cousins, the girls' cousins. Yes, ah. Oh. and she the big girl and she was the bigger the big among them among all the three girls my mother was i mean uh, the biggest the tallest yes some 12 years or so my mother who was standing in the middle was some 12 years or so 12 years old 12 years of age yes the photograph shows me my mother walking with two girls two of her cousins and she was the biggest and she was only 12 years of age so old a photograph is it not so yes so old a photograph she was only 12 years of age the photo was taken the photograph was taken when my mother was only 12 years of age Yes, some twelve years or so. See once again. See the first four lines. The cardboard shows me. The photograph shows me the picture of my mother. Yes, that cardboard shows me the picture of my mother. How it was, how the photograph was. When two girl cousins, three girls, I mean, and the. Uh, i mean mother in the middle two girl cousins went paddling walking through water sea shore walking through water sea shore yes each one holding one of my mother's hands hand in hand my mother and two of her cousins they were walking through water when the photograph was taken and at that time she was only 12 years of age yes when the photograph was taken my mother was only 12 years of age yes all three stood still to smile through their hair the photograph was taken the locks of hair was falling i mean um, and they were smiling yes through the locks of hair i could see in that photograph the smiling face of my mother so attractive a face and smiling too yes she was attracted by the photograph and the smiling face of her mother and she the big girl some 12 years or so all three stood still to smile through their hair at the angle with the camera Yes, they were smiling towards the uncle who was taking the photograph. Uncle with the camera, the camera was capturing the picture of the oldest mother and two of her cousins hand in hand walking through the water. Yes, the camera was capturing the picture of the oldest mother and two of her. Uh, cousins walking hand in hand through the water i mean um, uh, in a sea shore at a sea sea shore a sweet face she remembers that her mother's face was so sweet a sweet face my mother's my mother's face was so sweet that was before i was born long years before years and years before before i was born Yes, that was before I was born. And the sea, and the sea, 
which appears to him changed less no change for the sea why there is no change for the sea the sea always will be there is it not so yes there was no change for the sea see always remain the same sea will never change no like a river like a brook the sea will never change the river will never change i remember a poem by alfred lord tennyson the brook in which he says men may come and men may go but i go on forever for men may come and men may go but i go on forever which means the river is immortal immortality is being shown there because people will come and stay near the river they will uh, have a life there of course short life every man has got maybe 50 60 years maximum 70 that's all of an average and a new generation would come there make their houses nearby the river they stay there for some years and they will also pass by by the passage of time and men may come and men may go but i go on forever immortality the river is immortal the brook is immortal so is the sea yes i mean which appears to have changed less i see no change for the sea there is no change sea will never change little change no change for the sea yes which appears to have changed less washed there the sea washed there terribly transient feet the sea was washing of course they were walking i mean at the sea shore through the water they were walking and the uh, footsteps marks would be there when the first uh, i mean uh, wave comes they, it will wash their feet and go away into the sea once again and that mark will be gone by the next wave waves will come and go is it not so again it will come again it will go yes so and the foot print would be there for a few seconds or few minutes to be washed away see it will never change people will change and the waves will be coming and going coming and going to be washing their feet i mean in a continual fashion now and again not continuous continual now and again happening again and again is wash their terribly transient feet what is transient you see something which is temporary or short lived which means that foot foot prints made on the sea shore is temporary and it will be washed away by the waves that comes now and again as the waves were washing the feet of the three girls who were walking through the i mean water i mean at the sea shore yes wash their terribly transient feet once again see the first stanza in full the cardboard shows the cardboard means the photograph in the picture shows me how it was how it was all when the two girl cousins went paddling these yes, two girl cousins were walking through the water i mean um, each one holding one of my mother's hands see three girls hand in hand walking through the water and their uncle took the photograph and the cardboard shows me how it had all been yes some 12 years or so at that time when the photograph was taken she was only 12 years of age all three stood still all three were they stood still ah oh, to smile through their i mean hair looks so hair falling and through that hair they were smiling to wish the uncle with the camera the camera captured the girls faces who are smiling through the uh, hair looks so hair falling yes a sweet face the poetess could not but see notice the smiling face the sweet face of her mother yes a sweet face she notices that the face was so sweet a sweet face my mother's my mother's face was so sweet i do remember i noticed that her mother i mean uh, uh, my mother's face was so sweet 
which appears to have changed less. The sea which appears to have changed less was their terribly transient feet. The sea was washing, I mean, uh, their transient feet. That means the footprints were washed away by the uh, waves that was coming now and again. Some 20, 30 years later, uh, three, two, three decades later, 20, 30 years later, she would laugh at the snapshot. She, my mother, would laugh at the snapshot, the shot, the picture taken uh, quickly. Snapshot, quick shot, quick picture taken. Yes, she would laugh at when she looks at her own picture. When she sees her own picture, she would laugh at it. She would laugh at the snapshot. My mother would laugh at. Yes, recollecting her memories when she was only 12 years of age, she would laugh at that photograph. Maybe two, three decades later. Of course, we would all have some sweet memories of our childhood. We would like to go back to those, those sweet memories. Is it not so? It's called nostalgia. When the past was so sweet and beautiful and the present not that was sweet and beautiful, we would like to go back to that past which was so glorious. It is called a nostalgia. Yes, everyone will have some nostalgic feeling towards our childhood. Is it not so? Uh, of course, when you see a young children going to their, their nursery class, you would remember your own childhood. When you went there, you played there, you quarreled with your, your friends and the teachers scolded you, all those memories come to you. Nostalgia. Yes, she would laugh at her own photograph when she looks at it, maybe 20, 30 years later. Yes, second stanza. Some 20, 30 years later, she would laugh at the snapshot. Yes, she would laugh at that picture. See Betty and Dolly, she would say. And look at Betty and Dolly. She would say. And look how they dressed us for the, for the beach. How we were dressed. Of course, they were all children. No. Uh, the biggest, the tallest was only 12 years of age. Three small girls walking through the water. Nicely. I mean... Uh, seashore, at a seashore. Yes. How we were dressed by their parents, maybe, or someone like that. How we were dressed for the beach. So, some beach festivals are there. They would go, you would go to the beach, spend hours there, walking uh, with your friends, uh, talking, chatting, and etc. And yes. So, you wear such kind of dress when you go to a beach. Is it not so? To enjoy a few hours. Ah, how we were dressed so suitably uh, to walk through the uh, beach. How we were dressed so suitably in such a way. And look how they dressed us for the beach. Yes, the sea holiday was her past. For her, the sea holiday was her past. Something of the past it was. For her it was something of the past. The sea holiday. And the moments of enjoyment she spent there near the sea was something of the past for her. Mine is her laughter. But this laughter I do remember. I cherish in my memory how sweet she smiled. How sweet she was smiling. You see, when she was my, when my mother was only 12 years of age. As I said in the beginning, that is a tribute paid to her mother. Yes, for me it was her laughter and the sweet face and sweet smile that I remember, that I recollect when I look at that picture. For me it was her laughter that I do remember. I do remember that. That means through the photograph. I can recollect. I mean I can, uh, I noticed. I could not but. Means anybody would have noticed such a sweet smile and the sweet face of my mother and her laughter in that photograph. Yes, the sea holiday was her past. According to my mother, it was something of the past. The sea holiday was something of the past for her. Mine is her laughter. I couldn't but, I mean, uh, notice the laughter of my mother in that photograph. Both rye with the labored ace of laws. Yes, 
right here means disappointment both these thoughts bring us disappointment is it not so for me i could not but notice the sweet smile of my mother in that photograph but for her it was something of the past the childhood i mean a uh, thing of the past but we were both disappointed in, in that way with a labored ease of loss yes she feels a separation from her mother mother is lost after that only the poem was written yes so when she sees the photograph she remembers her mother and sweet memories that she spent with her mother all i mean come to her that is why the poem the theme of the poem is a is the separation i mean the pain of separation is the theme of the poem the pain of separation yes okay ah oh, mine is her laughter both rhy with the labored ace of loss labored ace ace means uneasiness now labored means doing with much hard work that means not easy the loss to i mean adjust with is very difficult i could not i mean adjust to myself with the loss i mean uh, that came uh, that i lost my mother there is the loss of my mother i could not adjust with so the labored is the uneasiness that i feel or i felt was labored i mean got with much hard work not easy to get it's very difficult is it not so that means i had to adjust means uh, i had to come to terms with the reality that uh, i lost my mother nothing can be done is yes, uh, accepting the reality accepting the reality was very difficult for me i mean uh, to come to terms with the loss of my mother reality no my mother is lost i cannot get her bike by no means it can it be done but i have to come to terms with that fact that i lost my mother forever that i had to do with the labored is with much difficulty i had to realize the loss of my mother yes so both of us that means my mother for her it was something of the past yes she has to come to day, come to terms with that for me i lost my mother that's why i said the theme of the poem is uh, the pain of separation yes with the labored ace of loss is it clear to you second stanza some 20 30 years later after 20 30 years after the photograph was taken 30 years after the photograph was taken maybe when she was uh, 40 42 45 that age she would laugh at the snapshot seeing that picture haha <laughs> my picture when i was uh, well, 12 years of age she would laugh at yes see betty and dolly see my cousins betty and dolly look at them she would say my mother would say and look how they dressed us for the beach how you were so suitably and aptly dressed for uh, the beach the sea hold day was her past for her the sea hold day was something of the past mine is her laughter i really noticed the laughter of my mother the sweet smile i noticed and both both of us were disappointed that we lost i mean uh, my mother would take it as a thing of the past whereas i feel the pain of separation from my mother but i had to come to terms with that because i had to accept that accepting the reality was labored is that means that uneasiness comes out of hard work means not an easy task it was for me it was very difficult for me to accept the fact that i lost my mother forever and forever but i had to come to terms with much much so much difficulty that is why i say it is a i mean tribute paid to the mother of the other yes tribute homage paid to her mother the stanza last stanza now she has been dead nearly as many years the as that girl lived now he, she has been dead nearly as many years the same number of years as that girl lived that means the girl in the photograph lived which means she was 12 years of age now my mother is dead 12 years before 
ஆஃப்டர் த டெத்து சி டுவெல்வ் இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர் த டெத்து தட் த பொயம் வாஸ் ரிட்டன் இஸ் ஒன்ஸ் அகெயின் நவ் ஷியாஸ் பீன் டேட் மை மதர் ஹாஸ் பீன் டேட் nearly as many years as the girl in the photograph lived that means the girl in the photograph was 12 years of age and my mother has been dead 12 years before yes 12 years after the death of her mother that she wrote this poem that's why she says once again see the line now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstance about this circumstance the loss of my mother i lost my mother that is circumstance this situation the loss of my mother the pain of separation this circumstance there is nothing to say at all what can be said accept the reality i lost my mother i lost her forever and forever she would never come back to my life i have to accept the reality of the fact that i lost my mother forever there is nothing to say what can we say what can i say nothing can be said because i lost my mother forever and forever and she would never come back to my life there is nothing to say at all it's silence silence the last line take care it's silence what silence it's means what death the so first silence stands for death the death of my mother it silence death silences all we are all silenced by death death is not noisy is it not so here again death is personified figure of speech personification yes death is introduced as a person it silence the silence of death silences everyone we are all silence the boy the silence of death yes it silence silences the silence of death silences everyone see once again there is nothing to say at all i can say nothing nothing can be said about the death of my mother because i have to come to terms with that i have to accept the reality that i lost my mother forever and forever she would never come back to life again i know it but i have to accept the reality it's silence the silence of death silence us all we are all silenced by the silence of death yes the last line take care it's silence silences yes the silence of death silences all we are all silenced by the silence of death i think the poem is clear to you and see i mean what all questions given there think it out find out the answer answers of that questions given there and answer them in your notebook and if there is any doubt remaining uh, let me know it i will clarify so once again go through it thank you